China is known for replicating successful products from leading companies across various industries. When you talk about smartphones, there's always a Chinese version of an Apple product at a fraction of the price. And sometimes it's hard to tell which one is the original. In the electric vehicle market, China has replicated Tesla. And amusingly, they are even outselling Tesla. This trend of imitation is not surprising and has been accepted as something China does. However, they have taken their copying game to a whole new level by replicating SpaceX's Starship and its entire support system, including the catching towers. No one expected them to go this far, and even Musk had to respond. In this video, we will delve into how China has taken imitation to unprecedented heights with their version of SpaceX's technology and explore Musk's reaction to this. But before we dive deeper, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates about space rockets and much more. China has been trying to surpass the United States in the space race for a long time. When they first started competing, they were developing their own unique rockets from scratch and doing quite well. However, they wanted to speed things up, so they came up with a new idea. Instead of creating new designs from the ground up, they decided to use what is already proven successful. This led to China starting to copy the most successful space company, which is, of course, SpaceX. We all know SpaceX is famous for its reusable rockets, especially the Falcon 9. So China began by copying the Falcon 9. One clear example is Space Pioneer's Tianlong-3 rocket. The Tianlong-3, like the Falcon 9, is a two-stage rocket that uses kerosene and liquid oxygen and has a reusable first stage. It is 71 meters tall with a diameter of 3.8 meters, and it can lift 17 tons to low Earth orbit, similar to Falcon 9's capabilities. Another Chinese company, iSpace, is working on the Hyperbola 3, which also resembles SpaceX's Falcon 9 in design and reusability. The Hyperbola 3 aims to lift 8.5 tons to low Earth orbit and features a vertical takeoff and landing system similar to Falcon 9. iSpace has already conducted successful hop tests, showing significant progress. China didn't face significant backlash for copying the Falcon 9 rockets, and SpaceX didn't take any legal action for one main reason, and that is Musk's belief about patents. Musk has publicly stated that he finds patents to be counterproductive because they hinder innovation. In his own words, Musk said, We're really quite open about what we're doing, and we'll find that it actually serves us better to be open and allow for feedback from others, and then have them contribute their improvements as well. China took advantage of Musk's open stance on patents by taking their imitation efforts to another level when they decided to copy SpaceX's Starship and its entire support system, including the catching towers. Unlike the Falcon 9 copying, this time SpaceX didn't remain silent. China's new rocket system closely resembles the design and capabilities of SpaceX's Starship. They used a similar stainless steel construction, which is known for handling the extreme temperatures during re-entry. They also replicated the complex infrastructure that supports Starship's operations. This includes the launch and catching towers, known as Mechazilla Arms. These towers are designed to lift, stack, unstack, and catch rockets, facilitating rapid reuse. The Chinese version features tall steel structures with two large arms that move vertically, similar to SpaceX's system. Musk himself reacted to these imitations, highlighting the significant step China has taken. He tweeted saying, look familiar. Some people might think China is just another country trying to catch up in space technology, like many others, but this is not the case. The fact that China was excluded from the International Space Station, while a country like Russia is still allowed, highlights the serious concerns surrounding China's space ambitions. China was kicked out of the International Space Station program mainly due to national security concerns. The U.S. feared that sharing space technology with China could lead to espionage and the militarization of space. China's space program is closely linked with its military, raising alarms about potential dual-use technologies that could serve both civilian and military purposes. Furthermore, China has ambitious plans to establish a permanent presence on the moon. They aim to build a lunar base and carry out missions that could claim lunar resources, 
There are growing concerns that China might try to control key areas of the moon, preventing other countries from accessing its resources and strategic locations. Still, despite the copying, many experts believe China will not be able to overtake SpaceX because SpaceX's speed of progress is faster than China can ever copy. If we look at their Falcon 9 rocket, we can understand this easily. SpaceX started developing the Falcon 9 in 2005, and it made its first successful launch in 2010. The progress since then has been remarkable. In 2022, SpaceX completed 61 successful Falcon 9 launches. In 2023, they further increased this number to 72 launches. By mid-2024, they are on track to surpass their previous year's record, with projections indicating over 80 launches by the end of the year. In contrast, China's space program, while growing, has not matched SpaceX's pace. For instance, China's Long March rocket series, their primary launch vehicle, completed 55 launches in 2022. In 2023, they managed 62 launches. While these numbers are impressive, they are still not on par with SpaceX's launch frequency and the rate of increase. While SpaceX is representing the United States and making history with its progress, Boeing, a much older and larger company, is facing significant problems with returning astronauts from the International Space Station. The Boeing Starliner has been dealing with multiple technical issues that have delayed the return of astronauts Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams. The problems began with helium leaks in the spacecraft's thruster system, which were identified both before and after the launch. These leaks affected the spacecraft's ability to properly maneuver, which is critical for a safe re-entry to Earth. Initially scheduled to return on June 13th, the astronauts' stay on the International Space Station has been extended multiple times due to these ongoing issues. The earliest possible return date has now been pushed to late July or even August. Engineers are conducting extensive tests on the thrusters and other systems to ensure that the spacecraft can return safely. Despite some repairs being made while the Starliner is docked at the International Space Station, concerns remain about the thruster reliability during the crucial re-entry phase. The problems with the Starliner are not new. The first uncrewed test flight in December 2019 failed to reach the International Space Station due to software issues that placed it in the wrong orbit. Boeing spent several years addressing dozens of identified issues before a second uncrewed flight in May 2022 successfully docked with the International Space Station. However, even this mission faced propulsion problems on the way to the International Space Station. In addition to the helium leaks, the current mission has encountered issues such as parachute system failures and the discovery of flammable tape within the capsule, requiring extensive modifications and fixes. Recent discussions have brought up the idea that SpaceX's Dragon capsule might be used to bring astronauts back from the International Space Station. While there are no current plans to use Dragon for this purpose, NASA has asked SpaceX about the possibility. Meanwhile, SpaceX started testing the recovery and reuse of payload fairings for their Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets. Unlike other companies that considered fairings as dead weight after launch, SpaceX saw potential. In 2019, during Falcon Heavy's second successful mission, Musk announced that SpaceX had recovered both halves of the rocket's fairing for the first time. Musk confirmed on Twitter that both fairing halves were retrieved from the Atlantic Ocean without damage. Since SpaceX began reusing fairings, they have successfully reused more than 300 fairing halves. Initially, fairing recovery was a significant challenge. These large structures, which protect payloads during ascent, were often discarded after their job was done, turning into debris. Early attempts involved using ships equipped with large nets to catch the fairings as they descended under parachutes. However, these ocean landings were unpredictable, and catching fairings mid-air proved to be difficult and inconsistent. Recognizing the need for a more reliable method, SpaceX adjusted its strategy. Instead of attempting to catch the fairings mid-air, they allowed the fairings to splash down in the ocean and then retrieve them. Although this approach might not seem as impressive as mid-air catches, it is far more reliable and significantly reduces the risk of damage to the fairings. In 2021, SpaceX introduced custom recovery vessels named Bob and Doug. These ships, equipped with advanced cranes and nets, are designed specifically for fairing recovery. 
This method not only minimizes the risk of damage, but also allows for quicker turnaround times for reuse. When we see a newcomer like SpaceX putting in tremendous effort to recover rocket parts and reduce costs, it raises questions about why government agencies like NASA aren't doing the same. Instead, NASA continues to use traditional, expensive rocket development strategies that cost billions and often achieve less than what SpaceX accomplishes. Take their space launch system as an example. This rocket has been under development since 2011. By the time it launched its first mission in 2022, NASA had spent roughly $23 billion on its development. In contrast, SpaceX developed the Falcon Heavy for about $500 million, with its first successful launch taking place in 2018. One of the most striking differences is the cost per launch. The space launch system costs approximately $2 billion per launch, while the Falcon Heavy costs about $90 million. In terms of payload capacity to low Earth orbit, the space launch system can carry up to 130 tons, whereas the Falcon Heavy can carry up to 70 tons. Despite the space launch system's higher capacity, the Falcon Heavy's cost efficiency and partial reusability make it a preferred choice for many missions. Reusability is where SpaceX truly excels. The Falcon Heavy is partially reusable, with its side boosters capable of landing and being reused. The space launch system, on the other hand, is entirely expendable, meaning every component is used only once. This not only increases costs, but also has a greater environmental impact due to the need for more materials and manufacturing. SpaceX managed to develop and launch the Falcon Heavy in less time compared to the space launch system, despite spending significantly less money. Furthermore, the Falcon Heavy has already demonstrated its reliability with multiple successful launches and recoveries of its boosters. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.